subscribe to Film Companion for your film fix. Hit the bell icon so you never miss an update. First time feature filmmaker, woman, wants to make a sci-fi indie. The fact that this film actually happened and turned out the way it did, miraculous. Hey guys, my name is Acharita. This is Film Companion. You are watching Not A Movie Review and right now I am not going to be reviewing Aarti Kadav's Cargo. People say that they come here when everything is done. Set in the near future, the year is 2027. Roaring 20s are back and better because Manushya and Rakshas have been signed a peace treaty sign which has enabled big leaps not just for humanity and Rakshasanity but also for science. Interplanetary space organizations exist, post-death transition services exist, where when people die, they are beamed up to spaceships as cargo, their bodies are healed, memories are wiped clean and then they are sent back to Earth for Punarjanam. So even though this is all futuristic sci-fi, but it is as sarkari as it comes. The whole setup is uh, like security check-in at an airport. Very procedure, mundane. Machines are malfunctioning, people have been stuck doing their same jobs for years. The thought of bringing in new people with fresh ideas is met with resistance. On the spaceship, helping people transition is Rakshas astronaut agent Prahastha, who has been at it for 75 years. He's joined by a young agent Yuvishka later and when that happens, things begin to change, which is what the movie is, which is Netflix on Netflix. Writer-director Aarti Kadav must be a mad fun person to hang out with. One can tell just by the sheer conviction with which she's created this audaciously original and bizarre universe her characters exist exist in. Kind of like Douglas Adams, light. Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy is a trilogy in four parts about the red tapism and bureaucratic mess engulfing space travel and life on other planets. Those books aren't set in the future either. He just takes bizarre things which are happening on Earth like politics, organized religion, uh, sporting events, dating, wars and he sets them all in space, adding silly embellishments like a guidebook for the entire galaxy, the importance of having your own towel, a supercomputer, an SCP field which stands for someone else's problem. Problem. When you apply an SAP to something, people ignore it and walk away. So I don't know how much Aarti Kadav is inspired by Douglas Adams, if at all, but Cargo 2 has flashes of cheeky but extremely poignant takes on human behavior like that. Prahastha, the character Vikrant Masi plays, in Hindu mythology, this name comes from the leader of Ravan's army against Ram. In this film, there's also a character named Ram Chandra, a popular reality TV show host who claims to solve all your loneliness troubles by moving into your house, eating your food and literally invading your life. The spaceships are called Pushpaks, which as everyone knows, was Ravan's flying aircraft. Prahastha's handler, played by Nandu Madhav, is named Nitigya, literally translating to the knower of policies. There are so many deeply insightful little little details just scattered across cargo, used for comedic effect. For all Rakshas log, puberty ke time pe sabki bodies mein apni individual unique powers na develop hoti hai. The knower of policy has the power to vanish, but only a little over 86%. Part of him is still visible to everyone. One man's power is his inability to sleep and not be tired, so he is the night handler of the ship's crew. Shweta Tripathi's character, astronaut Yuvishka, is an empathetic, kind, deeply emotional person. With her powers, she's able to heal people, literally. Aarti Kadam ne bahut hi easter egg se bhara hua ye universe banaya hai jisme ghus kar maze a gaye Rakshas Bhavan Mahanagar building is also Brihan Mumbai Nagarpalika building I am sure every number every bit of design in this film has significance and meaning guest appearances from Konkana Sen Sharma Hansal Mehta Shlok Sharma screenwriter Anjum Rajawali a character who shows up for transitioning his name is Bhavesh Joshi a nod to Vikramaditya Motwane who is an executive producer on this film and frankly it really is Kahin ki eat, kahin ka roda, at least according to the end credits of the film. Shok Sharma and Anurag Kashyap are Aarti Kadav's co-producers. One of the producers, Naveen Shetty, is also the lead colorist of the film. Filmmaker Megha Ramaswamy is the lyricist and singer of the only song in the film, the 80s synth pop style mad fun track, Forget Me Not. Despite all her friends coming together to make her film happen, Aarti, I believe, is fully aware that doesn't translate to a big production budget. Hence, futuristic tech finds no place in her film. It is a very old-timey 80s TV show set with flickering, bulging convex screens, knobs, clunky manual devices giving the landscape a silly stage play feel, clearly not caring about form more than they need to. 
having said that i found the substance tiny bit lacking as well sure the whole thing is satire on how we lead our lives right now the near future setting gives you just enough perspective to reflect on current times but um when it came to the central conflict of the story i felt a lack of conviction hota kya a slightly jarring event occurs and within the same scene yuvishka just declares that her healing powers are gone at which point the film turns from weird but hilarious to weird and sappy shweta tripathi is yuvishka while an endearing presence on screen she didn't make room in my heart for me to be invested in her character arc and root for her to win same for vikrant masi who has maximum screen time apart from the name There is nothing very interesting or novel about his character Prahastha. It's fun to see him interact with the bits and pieces put together by Mayur Sharma's production design, but the attempt to give him a personality falls short. In one scene, Yuvishka asks Prahastha, "Kisi bhi cheez ka kya matlab hai?" Ye existential sawal is the sensibility of the film, the outdated toy-like tech included. Ki nothing means anything. Lekin phir bhi, Aarti Kadav has envisioned a future in hope. It's not very far away and doesn't need very modern tech or advances in science smartphones work on spaceship which are propelled by what look like giant fuel efficient rubber pumps the earth has laws against gender discrimination we are using science against a generational andhvishwas cargo is a small but stupendous flight of fancy actually brought to fruition and this liye we absolutely must watch share and encourage this film as much as possible catch it on netflix to get away from the world for a bit pun very much intended so on a scale of 1 to 10 cargo is 634a is the number of the pushpak prahasta is in charge of i don't know what that number means if you all have any ideas bataiye comments mein subscribe to film companion and come see me on instagram